feel solid. I did a thing, and as of filming this, I am slightly regretting the thing. <laughs> this is a 97 Suzuki Sport JX, um, which means it is adjacent to the Geo Tracker family. There's a lot of family drama in that car story, and I'm not going to pretend that I know all of it. But what I do know is I freaking love these cars. I've had my eye on them for a long time. So in case you didn't know, I used to live in a van. I now have a homestead that you are looking at that I'm fixing up. And I decided that fixing up an entire house is not enough of a project for me. I need a project car too. <laughs> But no, really, uh, I have my camper van that I lived in for three years, and that has been my daily driver for the last three years, and the last year specifically since I bought the house, and now that I have the house, I figured I should buy a daily driver. So I decided to jump on this one when I saw it was listed for really cheap. It's a pretty big shitbox, honestly, to be honest. To be perfectly honest, I still love it, but it needs a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, I've... Never really worked on cars before. I know a thing or two about cars because I've had the van break down on me a lot and every time the van would break down, I would go, you know, through a Googling spree and learn about the system that the that was relevant for that. So I do know a fair bit about cars in a theoretical sense. Um, but yeah, I've never changed a tire, although I know how to. I'm not one of the people who's like, I've never changed a tire, I don't even know how. It's just never come up. I had AAA, and I actually never had a flat on the van. I've only actually had a flat once, and that was when I was in high school. So yeah, I didn't change it then, I didn't know. I am pretty handy, like I said, I'm fixing a house. So this is why I bought this car, is because if you look at the engine, it is got so much room for activities. It seems like a rel relatively easy car to work on. There's a million trackers and Suzuki's out there for there to still be parts. The original parts are obviously not there, but there's a lot of parts cars and a lot of them in junkyards and stuff. I like this car, it's four wheel drive. And so I decided I care enough about this car to learn how to fix it um, and do the work myself because uh, yeah, I don't have money to pay for a mechanic on this car. I'm going to try and do the majority of the work myself. Um, but I am not going to do that until the van, it, which is currently at the shop for a uh, catalytic converter oxygen, some sort of exhaust problem, uh, until that's fixed and home and working because I don't want to like break a bolt, uh, on my, uh, CV axle, for example, and be stuck because I can't get to town to buy said bolt. Yeah, uh, this is me filming like an intro for all the work that needs done on this stupid car. Basically what this video is gonna be is just a compilation of me over the next probably several months uh, working on different projects on the Suzuki. Let me give you a little bit of a tour on it and um, show you what I've done and what there is still to do and yeah. The fun thing about this car is that the um, hood popper is in the glove box. Also, I still have an Ikea wardrobe in here that needs to go back to Ikea. So interior wise, it's a bit of a hot mess. Alrighty, so this is the engine compartment. It's got a few cobwebs, a few spider webs, but like this is like I can see the ground. There's not a giant heavy belly pan like there is on the van. And there's like all of this room. Like, look at this. It's just crazy. Night and day difference between the van and this Suzuki. The first thing I did is the washer pump was broken. Didn't work at all. Um, I replaced the pump. Pump is, pump is all there. Um, it sprays probably only about this far up onto the windshield and I don't see anything wrong with the hoses. The hoses look fine. All of the things look fine. I took the, the nozzles off and I sprayed like uh, soaked them in vinegar and stuff. So I don't know what's going on if there's a blockage somewhere, but these hoses, like I was shocked that I was able to actually put the hose onto the washer, the new washer pump without it breaking because they're pretty old. Um, so this is like $5 worth of hose 
Probably the next thing I'm gonna do is just replace the whole hose and see if that fixes my water pressure, my washer pressure issue or not. Kinda can't see, cause the uh, wheel's not turned, but uh, all the CV axle boots are really torn and uh, the shocks are just non-existent. The shocks and the struts are non-existent. Four wheel drive here, locking hubcaps. In case you're not familiar with these guys so i have in the back of the car i have the cv axles shocks and struts are on their way yeah i just don't want to start anything until i know that i can make it to town if i break a bolt um another thing that's already been done is i replaced these front tires these are just takeoffs um used tires for 40 dollars because the tires are dry rotted the back aren't quite as bad but if you notice i have mismatched rims uh those back rims are 15s and these are 16s so i think the radius of the wheels line up and so it's not that big of a problem i think like they're they're pretty much the same but uh i did go and buy a new rim which you can see back there um and then I have one coming in the mail and I have uh, my spare here that all will match. So I will have matching 16s on here at some point and um, finding used tires is not the easiest thing for 16s for these little tires. They are um, 225-70 16s. It's not the easiest to find those tires where I'm at. But yeah, I'm not putting new tires on this because I've got a lot of things wrong with the car and I don't know <laughs> that, the, that it's a worthy investment at this point. So right now we're going with takeoffs and I can uh, invest in new ones if I get everything fixed and it's still gonna work. So some other things um, to point out in case, I don't know, I don't know who's watching this. If you're car people, you probably already noticed. Belt's new. And then they clearly did one spark plug and not the others. I have taken a trip with the car already and I religiously check the oil and I religiously check the coolant and they both seem okay. Coolant's a little bit dirty and if you look at the radiator, there's a couple of spots where the radiator's been repaired. So I'm watching that pretty closely. Originally, I thought that the oil was going to be the big problem because there's an oil leak but before i bought the car they had put an oil additive in and it seems to have pretty much stopped the leak when i when i bought the car there was about you know a frisbee shaped sized puddle on the ground um, and now there's like a quarter sized puddle on the ground wherever i go so the the oil leak is much lower of a priority at this point in time now so finishing out the tour, you can see somebody did a really awful paint job up here that is all flaking off. Um, the interior trim, this is new aftermarket and it looks like somebody literally gouged it out with a screwdriver. Um, yeah, just a lot of really bad trim work. Uh, somebody apparently didn't know that these just pull off and instead broke all the trim to uh, get that off. This is all loose. I bought a new stereo. Didn't fit in the old holder, so everything is taken apart right now for me to do that because the uh, radio that was in here was an aftermarket, but it didn't have Bluetooth. Another project I started um, but had to send back was visors. The visors are just... <laughs> Um, there's all sorts of fun things, like the, the car came with two door handles, uh, because there's some door handles that are, like, broken, I think that's one of them, yep. Uh, can't, un can't roll down the back windows, the back windows switch, like, those are hooked up, but they don't do anything, so they need replaced. Uh, yeah, it's filled with a bunch of shit right now, um, because of the box and all the parts for it and everything like that. So yeah, it's a, a hot mess, but hopefully by the end of this video, it'll look pretty good. But you guys, I can be very proud of myself because I do have a project that's finished. This <laughs> was missing and uh, it's a pain in the ass to have to dig all the way down there. 
So, listen. It's a small win, but it is a win. It is fixed. There is something fixed. <laughs> Truly the foundation of every broke person trying to do any sort of a task at home is uh, 500 things from Harbor Freight. These tires are getting replaced. I was kind of hoping I would find somebody with tires that I could buy um, so that I didn't have to do the studs, but no such luck. This is gonna take so much longer than it needs to because I have really no clue what I'm doing. What are you doing, Teddy? Are you gonna help? Yeah, I'm here to help you. Moral support. Also, in case you're wondering about the sleeve, because you don't watch my other videos, I um, burned my arm. Like this whole section of my arm is burned and it's like super sensitive to the sun. And like if you poke it, it bleeds and stuff. So it's being protected. to this puppy. Well, just for shits, let's see if this one wants to come off without me having to I was told it ceased, but I suppose I should confirm for myself. Oh, what the hell? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well. anything but if it falls if it falls it'll catch it did I break it break it or did it break it are you broken yup I sure did Jesus. Look at that. And then let's see if I can. That's what I ended up having to do to get the stupid thing off. If you guys just missed, there was like an actual twister. Like I heard the noise. I was like, the hell what noise is that? I looked and it was moving the boards and it went all the way across back behind you. Okay well so I switched into shorts because it's hot and I'm done angle grinding. are you, you 
it pops it off. Um, do you think I have bolts that size? Okay, officially, M8 by 1.25. These 30 millimeters were long enough, but just if you had something a little bit shorter than 30, probably could work. Definitely didn't need longer than 30. Yay! I don't know what I'm looking at. The drum brakes. God, this is a mess. I'm really not sure that I can get all of these off without seeing the shit behind it. Yeah, so here's the thing. There's really not very much room back there. Oh, okay. Cool. Got a squirrel right there. Um... So basically everything I'm reading says you do not want to mess with the brakes. My, my vice, vice grips might work. <gasps> oh, it worked! Uh, amazing. Okay. <laughs> I bought the wrong one. No! <laughs> I don't have any sort of a spacer for this, do I? The likeliness that I'm gonna fuck this up somehow, but we shall try. right out here uh it's the next day the conclusion i have come to is that my impact driver is just not strong enough i don't know i'm very confused i don't understand why i can't fix this and i've tried everything i can yesterday so there's really no point in me really even trying to look at it today so I think I'm going to move on to some smaller projects that are also pretty high priority and hopefully I can find somebody who has another impact gun or something that I can try because yeah I just really feel like I've exhausted all of my options. My battery is loose in the engine compartment.
So, question is, do I want to take it all apart to angle grind? I'm just going to angle grind it here in the engine. stuck on the stupid studs. I mean, I have the shock right here. I have the whole whole kit um, from TRQ. It's the cheapest that I could find and apparently TRQ is still pretty decent quality because you bought the whole kit of four. It was a good discount, so. I think I needed a 15 millimeter wrench and I don't see that my kit has one. I don't know how it goes from 14 to 17. Okay, well, this 9 sixteenths looks like it's going to be close enough, so I'll take a video for you guys, since you're all the way over there. There you go, that's what it looks like. Also, this is where I'm at here. I cannot see these any further. I am so stuck. Oh, the camera died when I was filming yesterday because um, I was working on it so long uh, and so like the brakes are all taken apart because I dropped the stud that I was working on first was down here and I pushed it back through thinking well it, it must be in there crooked or something and um, it got pushed back through into the brakes so I had to take the brakes apart to get that piece out <laughs> Um, and so since the brakes were apart, I said, well, fuck it, I might as well go and try to do these ones. Um, and they're not doing any better a job. So, yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know where I stand on this. I need help. Um, but yeah, I think the bottle jack's not doing anything. I have it resting on the jack jack now because, uh, it was going to sit overnight. So I think I just pull the bottle jack out of here and and take some tension off of this. I don't understand how this is supposed to work because it's not going down. Whole ass screw is out. Oh. As I was saying, the whole ass screw is out and I still can't put the thing down. Fun. Good times. having an eventful day or week or whatever you want to call it. I wrangled a rattlesnake earlier this week and I just looked up the snake that I got footage of. You'll see it. Uh, that was a coach whip. Not venomous or anything, but they're fast. They're not aggressive either, but I was pissing them off. So anything's going to be aggressive if you piss them off. Anyways. There's a snake in here. 
I saw enough of the tail that I don't think it's a rattlesnake. Get out, please. I want to know what you are. Oh, no. You're not the rattlesnake. I'm just not ballsy enough with snakes to just grab. Oh, there he is. He's underneath the pot. That's kind of not a good pot. That makes an awfully good hiding spot for things. He won't leave. He's very angry and he won't leave. He's so mad. He strikes at everything. I don't know how to grab him. He's very fast. And I looked at him. And he looked at me. <laughs> okay, I put pants and boots on and I got my little trash grabber. He finally left. He ran in here. That's him. I'm so shaky. That was so scary. He is very angry. Can you even see him? I don't want to get... No, he's like looking at me like... Are you coming back for more? There you go. Okay, I'm leaving you. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. I am so shaky. He... I know he's not venomous, his head's really narrow and he's very slender and everything, but he shakes his little tail. And he is feisty, like you couldn't go any, like I was like, so he was here and I like had to run into the, through this door because my other door was locked and I unlocked it when I came out, I, when after I changed my clothes, I came out with that. Um, and yeah, he like, just like was watching me go all the way through with all curled up like, and he's so long that he probably could reach me. Like, whew. Okay, I just want him to be further away from him than that. Because uh, he could easily just come right back over. He, when I, like, he's over in that bush. And he came underneath the Suzuki and I watched him. He tried to crawl up into the wheel hub on the other side. Like, he did. He six, I mean, those snakes can crawl. Like, he climbed the stucco, no problem. So if I keep looking over there, that's why. Like, he's not gonna leave that bush unless he wants better shade. Cause the bush doesn't have great shade. That's why he didn't want to leave and why he was so pissed off in the first place is cause he wanted the shade. So this is the best shade. Um, but I think he knows that I'm here. So I don't know that he'll come back while I'm here. Alrighty. I think this is my last project out here, um, and then I'm going inside. But what I need to do, um, in the very near future is, um, work on my radio because I've ordered a lot of parts for that and they're gonna get out of their return window here soon. Okay, partially tightened, partially tightened. Oh, put the second that on. Okay, those are tight on each other. Okay, so I realized that I didn't give you guys an update on how that whole stud situation uh, worked out. Basically, I couldn't do it. And it's really funny because in part two, which is already like filmed and edited and ready to go, just had way too much footage to make a, all this a one part video. Um, in part two, you'll see that I break down and buy my own impact wrench. That was the problem with the studs. I literally just didn't have a strong enough um, impact 
something to be able to uh, get those studs seated. Um, so my mechanic actually saved the day and showed up and even his really nice Milwaukee impact wrench really struggled to seat those. It took a lot of time and it really chewed everything up. The lugs that we used to seat them like just had to get thrown away because um, they were just totally ruined. I don't know why they were so hard to see. Uh, they look the same uh, and they were able to be seated so they weren't too drastically wrong if for some reason somehow they were wrong. But yeah, my mechanic came to the rescue, so thank you. <laughs> also, it was like a two-person job to get the disc brakes back together with all the different springs and like you needed two sets of hands in there with pliers and screwdrivers and all sorts of stuff to hold the brakes together to be able to get that back together. Um, but yeah, I actually got new tires and um, was able to put the 16 inch matching rims on there shortly afterwards. So did I need to do the project myself? Probably not, but the place that I ended up getting my tires from, they like nickel and dimed. So I imagine it would have been a good amount of money for them to do the studs for me. That's the long and the short of it. Basically, you are going to see me, like for example, in the next video, I baby those lugs, getting the next set of tires off. Like I am so gentle because I don't wanna to have to do that again. That was not fun. That was the update. Part two is gonna have me working on my CV axle, my struts, my radio, a couple other small projects. And uh, I think that that will be pretty much it for the Suzuki for a while. So hopefully you enjoy me working on my car. I know it's a little different from the Homestead content, but I've been really enjoying learning how to do all this kind of stuff. It, it feels nice to be saving so much money on being able to do all this work myself, so. I've been saying it correctly. I've been like not comprehending it. This is where I'm at. That's <laughs>